What's up guys? Another quick video I want to do for y'all. I hadn't seen many videos done on this and basically no help. I did a lot of reading on it and I did fix my problem. These Hyundai Ionics is a 2021 Hyundai Ionic Hybrid Blue, but I believe it applies to a lot of them. This light right here, EPB, it'll pop up right there. It's orange. Mine's not showing up because I fixed it. And you're thinking, how the heck do I get this taken off? So the way to do this, I'm going to show you. It's what I found is the problem happens in the connector in the back on the back of the rear brakes. I'm going to show you. And if that light's going off and you were to leave your car on and if you have the problem you know what it's like you're driving and it just keeps beeping forever and it's not causing actual any problem it's just this connection in the back but if you go to this connection i'm about to show you here in a minute and you wiggle it you'll notice it cuts off because there's a problem in the connector so to find it we're going to go back here and you'll see what i've done yep one second <laughs> And you can see I'm at the tailpipe and you can see right up in there. I have zip tied it. I did this. I bought this car with about 36,000 miles. We're now at 107. The problem started shortly after I got the car at about 40,000 miles. And this has been a fix for essentially 60,000 miles or so. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to touch it with my hand. Um, this connector. It's got a boot and you can see I've zip tied it. I'll try and get in even closer. Yeah, so the wire, boom, my fingers weren't really tight spot. You see my finger back there. That wire comes in and it connects on this black plastic housing here. So if you wiggle this boot, you'll notice it cuts off. So what I did is I did one zip tie around the wire, took a zip tie around that zip tie and then came up to the top and zip tied it to kind of push the connection onto this black housing on this rear brake here or whatever and this was the the worst of the two um at first for the first couple months i just had this one then the other side started acting up so i'll show you that side oh, oh. so now we're at this side of the car we're coming up under here and this one you can see hey look at that my i did do a zip tie and it fell off it looks like so maybe that's why it has come back on here recently very very briefly um so that's probably why because that connector came off so anyways the zip ties do hold up for 60,000 miles at least it did on the other side and i think i just did one on this side because it wasn't as big of a deal but yeah you essentially i'll show you again with my finger um you essentially Oh, you take a zip tie, look at my pointy finger, you start it running up at the top, and then you run a circle around that top part down to the bottom part. That's what I did with this side with just the one, and obviously we've seen after thousands of miles it fell off. So the other way I did it is better. You take a zip tie and run a circle, then run your zip tie through that zip tie, and run a circle zip tie on the other side, and then run that. So you've essentially have two anchoring points, two circle zip ties, one there, one there, and then run a zip tie from there to there and tighten it down. So it like kind of pulls that connector down onto the piece. So this um, plastic housing, boom, the rubber boot of that wire is where the problem happens. You can also just replace the wires. Um, but as you can see, I fixed mine for like 60,000 miles with just a zip tie and it takes five minutes instead of spending, you know, a few hundred dollars on some big wiring harness. So anyways, there you go. I didn't see any videos, so I thought this would be really helpful. This is kind of a new problem for this car. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.